guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a get ready with me. I've never done one of these like for real, for real, like with full fledged makeup, getting ready for an event. But I was here at home doing some studying and I realized that I had to get ready for Taz's holiday party. So I figured why not turn on the camera and just do it on camera. And that's my dog, so I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome. And thank you for joining. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. So without further ado, if you wanna see how I got Got this look then just keep on watching did I do it right is that what they say <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing a get ready with me we're just gonna jump right into it first and foremost I am NOT a makeup artist <laughs> I probably don't know what I'm doing actually I know that I don't know what I'm doing and I just learn as I go pretty much and you're probably gonna hear my dogs barking in the background because they don't shut up. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing today. So like I literally don't have a plan. I'm just gonna go. And I'm gonna try my best to talk to you guys about the products that I use, but I may forget. If I forget and I don't mention the product that I'm using, it'll be linked um, in the description box below. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. First, I'm gonna put my hair up. Is this close enough for you guys? Okay, I moisturized my face a little while ago, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of stuff on right now. And this is from Osea. Oh, and um, if you see yellow on my fingers, um, that's because I made my very first turmeric latte. I have it right here. <laughs> you guys see how yellow it is? And it stains, and I totally forgot about that. And here I am with a yellow finger. So I am just moisturizing a little bit more, because like I said, I showered earlier, washed my hair, and then I just did some moisturizing. Okay, moving on. Um, let's do... I'm gonna start with some foundation. And I'm using the Maybelline. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. This is a 130 buff beige. Dab away. I am the worst person when it comes to like figuring out my foundation color. Um, like seriously, I am the worst. Hopefully this matches. And then typically I would use this blender bottle. Blender bottle. <laughs> fitness anyone I would use this um, sponge beauty blender that's what it's called and I would wet it under the sink but since I don't have a sink in this room I'm just gonna take my setting spray and spray the top of it get nice and moist I hate that word and then go to town so I have a mirror right here in case you guys are wondering what I'm looking at well, this foundation is not terrible it looks a lot wider on the screen than it does in the mirror. And I look so pale, like that does not match on camera. But here, it looks fine. <laughs> well, nothing a little bronzer can't fix. All right, what else do I wanna talk about? So this turmeric latte is pretty good. I made it with turmeric, obviously. Uh, cinnamon, ginger, black pepper, coconut oil, and uh, almond milk. And it was really good. Next, I'm going to do some concealing and I'm going to use the Tarte, the Tarte Shape Tape. So yeah, I just did the turmeric latte with those ingredients, put it in a little pot, got it to boil, and voila, bright yellow latte. <laughs> Every time that it starts to feel a little dry, I'll just put a little bit of water in it. And please be gentle with me, I don't do makeup. <laughs> but some of you requested this for some reason. So that's why I am doing it. This is really throwing me off though. The fact that I look way, way, way lighter on this, on the screen. But in my mirror, it looks fine. All right, let's go on with some bronzer, shall we? Typically I would do this matte foundation, uh, powder foundation, just to like set it. We're gonna go with the bronzer to kind of even out the tone. And this is just NYC Color Wheel. And I'll just do that. <laughs> okay, starting to look a little better. <laughs> Looks like I have no lip because my concealer went down. <laughs> darken these eyebrows a bit, shall we? Oh my gosh, I love this thing. Like, I mean... <laughs> Can we talk about the difference? 
All right, I'm gonna do the other one off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, and I feel like I look like a clown. <laughs> All right, I just set them with this clear eyebrow gel from the eyebrow, eyebrow gal, I think it's what it is. And yeah, all right. So far, I am not feeling this. It takes me like, like the in-between of the makeup process, I'm just like, you look like a clown. So hopefully, I like it. <laughs> all right, let's work on the eyes. Actually, no, let's do a little bit of contouring, shall we? I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Let's set the bottom of the eyes. I'm gonna use this Moda Pro and it's called the chisel. I'm gonna use this for under my eyes. Don't know if this is what it's supposed to be used for, but that's what I'm gonna use it for. Just doing a little brightening under the eyes. Not that I need any more brightening, right? I'm like super bright right now. It just fits perfectly under the eye. Pretty much anywhere that would crease, that's where I'm gonna do this. All right. Now a little bit of bronzing. I'm gonna use the same company. And this is a pointed blush, but I'm going to use it for contour. I'm gonna use these two colors. Does anyone else do this? I bite my cheek. I feel as though nothing is happening. <laughs> Good enough for me. <laughs> Eyes. Now, I'm going to use a couple different palettes. I have the Tarte that I got from uh, BoxyCharm, I think it was. And then I got Marc Jacobs over here that I got from uh, Influencer. It's a little dirty, sorry. And then I'm gonna use, I think, this one. It's a combination of all three that I also got from, um, oh, I got this one from the FabFitFun box, I believe it was. So, look at that mirror though. There we go. And I am going to start off with a base. If I can find my brush. I'm gonna start off with Conch, this one right here. And again, I'm gonna use this mirror. Oh, and this brush is also from Moda Pro. It's the crease brush, but I'm using it as like a whole, a whole lid brush, you know what I'm saying? But now that I'm like playing with it, I think it would be better as a crease brush. That's why it's a crease brush, Yanni. Get it together. This is just a really old brush that I have. Since I don't know what I'm wearing just yet, I'm going like the natural route. So I'm just blending that on the entire lid just to have like a base to work with. Alrighty then, moving on. I'm gonna use Marina for the crease. So I'm gonna use this brush now. And we're just gonna start to create some dimension. Is that how I say it? Is that what it's supposed to be? <laughs> I'm sorry if my camera is like unfocusing, focusing, unfocusing. It's being so weird. I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs, this brown one right here, and go into the crease a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this little brush. It's from Morphe M321. Oh wow, that's dark. <laughs> cool. So I'm just gonna, wow, that's very pigmented, Marc Jacobs. I'll just make a little line. Wow, look how dark that is. Ho, 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 ho. Time to blend away. It's very, very light. It's nothing too crazy. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I'm just being honest with you guys. <laughs> you know, not everything always comes out the way you want it to. I don't want to go too crazy on the eyes, so I'm just going to add a little shimmer to the tear duct. I'm using the Real Her um, shadow palette, and I'm using this one down here called Fabulous. So I'm liking how this eye is turning out, just not this one. That always happens and I hate it. So I find that it's really good to have like two mirrors, one that's kind of further away and then one that's closer. But you see how the makeup looks from both angles, you know what I mean? And I'm just blending here still. <laughs> I think I'm done with the eyes, well, or the shadows. I'm going to Add some eyeliner. I'm gonna do a nude on the inside. I'm gonna just use this white one. This is from Wet n Wild. I'm telling you, sometimes the cheaper ones are the best ones. We gonna do some eyeliner. I'm gonna wing it out with this bad boy. Wish me luck, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> Be right back. Not horrible, I still kinda got it. <laughs> But I want to give it a more smoky look, so I'm going to line the bottom lashes as well. This is the Kinks in black. 
And then what I like to do is I like to, like to take um, a very short but dense brush like this and I will just take it under the black line and kind of smoke it out a little bit. I will say though, I'm not loving the eyeshadow. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, mascara. So I just ran out of my favorite mascara which is Voluminous L'Oreal um, Waterproof Mascara. So I am forced to use a different one. This I think came from a, a like a beauty box as well. This is Ample Mascara. So I just thought about the fact that I haven't really said much about anything this entire video. I'm just so focused on getting this makeup right that I can't multitask and do things. So sorry that this is not very chatty. All right, eyes are finito. Gonna add a little blush, some highlight, and then figure out what I'm gonna wear and then add the lipstick. <laughs> Let's be honest, we all know that I'm gonna do a nude lip, so there's that. Okay, for blush, I'm using my favorite. That's It's been my favorite for a long time. It's the Jaclyn Hill palette. It, it fell and this one broke, but I am using the one in the middle and that one is called Amaretto. I knew that, because it's my fave. <laughs> I am the worst beauty vlogger. It's a good thing I'm not a beauty vlogger. For highlight, I have been using this literally every single day. Like I'll wear this to the restaurant and to bar because it's just so fleeky. And this is, this is Ofra in Rodeo Drive. Am I a beauty vlogger yet? <laughs> just kidding guys, I'm just kidding. It looks pretty good. All right, let's go with Lipstick. Okay, so for lip liner, I'm going to use this NYX Suede or NYX, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm going to line this bad boy. Then I'm going to use this Gerard Cosmetics, and this is in French Toast. Ah, my mouth is yellow. There you have it. I need to brush my teeth though because it looks like I have yellow stuff all over because of this turmeric latte. <laughs> okay, let's set this bad boy. To do that, I'm going to use this Cover FX. It's just translucent powder. To set lipstick, all you gotta do is take translucent powder, dip the brush, dab it out, I don't want to have excess, and then just dab it on the lipstick. And it should last you all night. But now that I'm here, I'm going to actually set the rest of my face with this. Now that I have translucent powder all over my shirt. <laughs> ah, this is a mess. And then as the final touch, I will just spray my face with this Ready, Set, Go um, setting spray. And that's it, guys. I hope this was a little bit entertaining at least. <laughs> if you guys have any questions on any of the products, please leave them down below and I'd be happy to answer them. Like I said, everything that I mentioned here will be in the description box below, so feel free to click away. Now I'm going to go see if I can figure out what to wear for this party, so <laughs> wish me luck. But thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one.